Hello everyone, welcome to 1814. My name is Bema and you're watching and listening your favorite show. Today my guest is Latifa, the owner of Spa Hamam in Houston. Today we will talk a lot about entrepreneurship, Morocco and spa industry as well. Stay tuned! Hello Latifa. Hi. Thank you for inviting us here. So I want to talk about spa industry with you. Uh, you've been working, uh, you've been having this uh, salon, like spa, for seven years almost. Yes. So my question is, how did you come up with the idea of having your own spa? And how did you come up with the idea of, bring, of bringing Morocco to Houston? Well, hammam is my culture. Hammam is uh, something that I grew up in. Mm -hmm. Also, in Morocco, we do hammam once a week. And everyone goes to hammam. Kids, babies, men, women, everyone goes once a week. Um, I just want to bring my Moroccan culture to Houston so everyone can experience it. So mm -hmm. they don't have to go miles and miles all the way to Morocco to mm -hmm. experience hammam. It's for example, we have Russian banya in my culture, and we go there like for once a week, for once two weeks. Also a cultural thing. So hammam is also a cultural thing. It's like tradition. Yes, it is. Yes, hammam is a tradition, Moroccan tradition that we do weekly, as I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, like for example, recently I had an interview interview with a Turkish restaurant owner. And he told me how difficult it was to open a Turkish restaurant in Houston because people don't really know about Turkish culture. Did you um, face the same problem? Yes, once you open something culture, you bring it, people don't know about it. So of course you have to educate people. Uh, people cause they just see Moroccan spa or Moroccan hammam. The hammam word by itself mm -hmm. To them is a question like, what's hammam? Mm -hmm. What are they doing there? So they call us, and then of course we uh, we explain everything step by step, and they're like, okay, it sounds good. Let's mm -hmm. try it. So once they try it, they feel in love with it. It just because um, how their skin feels, uh, how smooth, how clean they feel, how relaxed. So I would say it's an experience. Mm -hmm. So they. They don't know about hammam, but once they call, we do explain it to them. And once they do it, they feel in love mm -hmm. with it. Can you explain, like, briefly, what is hammam for you? What's hammam for me as a Moroccan? Mm -hmm. Hammam is everything. I mm -hmm. have to do it once a week. I do it. something that I grow up in, something that I I mm -hmm. been doing since I was a a baby mm -hmm. so, so you just can't? I cannot live without her mom no <laughs> I can't mm -hmm. so yeah mm, what do you what can you exp how can you explain what is her mom for a person who never tried it uh, it's massage a hammam is more than just massage. Mm -hmm. It's like you're doing body exfoliation and massage at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, hammam, you clean, you, if you have any dry skin, dry elbow, ingrown hair, mm -hmm. anything goes away. So as soon as we finish scrubbing one arm, they feel the other one in ease, they see the difference right there. So it's, it's an experience. It's something that's, uh, so if you ask any Moroccan, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about hammam they're like what's unique about hammam mm -hmm. just because something that we grew up in mm -hmm. but we got to find out it's the best for your skin okay thank you um you open a hammam so you always wanted to do that yes it's from uh, when you were young you were dreaming about that i always uh I always want to. I always want to have my own business, and I always and I love doing skin skincare. Mm -hmm. uh, and since I grew up in Hamam, that's something that I I've, I've been doing since I was a kid. But I went, I also went to school because my dad is in school in Morocco when I was 17, and um, that's just something that I love to do. Mm -hmm. I love to do skincare, and I love to. Yeah, opening opening a business, that's mm -hmm. something that I was dreaming of since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have some questions about business for our um, young audience. 
Uh, so, how long did it take you? <laughs> Good one. From, <laughs> how long Good one. did it take you from the very start uh, to uh, start earning money? Uh, three years. Three years. Yes. How many times you were thinking you were gonna give up? <laughs> many times. Many mm -hmm. times, really. Um, there was times when I'm like, that's it, I cannot do it anymore. It just, it's very hard. You have to be very strong, very patient if you want to own your own business. Also, you have to have at least, at least, I would say a year, but six months mm -hmm. money set in the bank for like, because it does not work from day one. So just to pay your bills and to pay your rent, your mm -hmm. everything else. Your well, mm -hmm. also uh, you have to be able to do the job. So don't open a business and say, "Oh, I'll hire a manager and they can do it." They're not mm -hmm. gonna do it because they don't care. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna do, gonna run your business the way you do. So um, I highly suggest that anyone that wants is to open a business. To yourself. be there, yeah, mm -hmm. to be there and to, that's how the business is going to be successful. If you open a business and get somebody, it's not going to work. Because mm -hmm. nobody's going to care about your business as you mm -hmm. do, of course. You have to fill your business yourself? Yes. Uh, for example, uh, I'm 19 and like, I'm not an entrepreneur, but I'm thinking that probably I'm going to do that. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so if I'm going to open my um, spa industry, what should I, ex mm, not industry, it's business. What should I ex expect from it? Did you have these expectations? Mm, like when you were young and you don't really know what's going to happen? Well, yeah, because just when I open a business and doing it, it's different because thinking about it, like, oh, you want to do it, I'm going to be successful, mm -hmm. I'm going to be, I'm going to make money, it's going to make, I'm going to mm -hmm. be a, a multi-millionaire, that, mm -hmm. that, it's easy, like, you know, thinking about it, but doing it in a reality, it takes, it takes a lot. You have to be, as they said, you have to be strong, mm -hmm. you have to be patient, and you have to be willing to do it yourself, to go, you like for me, I do it from cleaning, mm -hmm. from doing treatment, from doing everything. I do mm -hmm. everything. So you have to be willing to mm -hmm. do that. Other way, it's not going to work. It's just like if you have a restaurant and you don't know how to cook, you open a restaurant and you don't know how to cook. Mm -hmm. So one day everyone mm -hmm. say, oh, okay, your chef is like, I'm not coming today. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. So you have to yeah. come. I recently had a conversation with a restaurant owner. So you guys can check it out and also uh, like when you had these expectations and like when they were <laughs> broken how did you get, uh, had some power to continue what you were doing I have good um, friends around, mm -hmm. around me they supported me and they're already been in business so they're like, you have to be strong, you're doing good, that's the business, you have to be patient mm -hmm. and all that, everything's gonna work. So yeah, I was just... In the throne? Yes. Mm -hmm. My did, my friends, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, did and my you family. talk to some business owners when you were doing that? Like, to ask advice? I do, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of uh, friends that they own their own business and yes I always ask their advice and mm -hmm. yeah okay and last question what I wanted to ask is about Morocco what is your top three uh, Moroccan cultural um, differences and um, what you would advise to see or try in Morocco everything food <laughs> Food is number one. We have good food. Food tastes good. I love Moroccan food. Well, I guess. What I'm is Moroccan. your favorite food? Everything. everything. From couscous, tagine, oh. pastilla, uh -huh. everything. Also, uh, we know uh, argan oil, of course. That's mm -hmm. something popular in Morocco. And Morocan something uh, she uses in yes. the song. Yes, I use I use argan in my spa. Well, I don't use any chemical in my spa. It's mm -hmm. all a natural product. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and everything has argan oil and herbs. Um, and also about but, tea. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Moroccan tea. tea. So once you go to Morocco, you go to to visit anybody, they will serve you. They will serve you the Moroccan mm -hmm. tea. Moroccan tea. Uh, also, we know we have leather. Moroccan leather is so good. What else? Mm -hmm. Olives. Mm -hmm. Olive oil. So yeah, people are very nice, very welcoming. So mm -hmm. if you go there, don't be afraid to. They will help you. They will uh, invite you, even if they don't know you. Mm -hmm. Well, they're very, really, uh, we're very um, they're welcoming, welcoming yeah. people. Yes. So and yeah. also coffee. I have one here, <laughs> and I didn't try it. Yeah, Moroccan coffee. <laughs> uh, thank you for having us here. Uh, I, I like this place and thank probably you. you guys should come here and check it out and also uh, subscribe on our channel follow us on Spotify on Instagram see you soon